It's going to be awfully hard to see animals in this rain. After a few hours, the rain went away and it was time to get on a small boat and look for wildlife. It was nice to finally get out on the Three Brothers Rivers, which is home to over 500 bird species. And here's one to start off with, the Spoonbill. This area is also home to lots of jaguar food, like the caiman. We weren't the only ones looking for jags. And this male capybara was also on the lookout. With my unsteady hands in this rocky boat, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of blurry photos, but I'll do my best for you. We pulled up on a ring kingfisher as it sat on a branch waiting to swoop down for a fish. As we left, we ran into more capybara. It made sense why so many jaguars hung out on the riverbanks, as this is where their food is. You can bet with these little ones around that the adults are always on alert for predators. Although there were just four here, they can live in large groups of 20 or more. I kept searching on the shoreline, hoping to find spots moving in the forest. I figured I might as well also look up to see what birds were around. Uh -huh. Well, small ones like this orange-back trupial and a cardinal. To big like a black hawk and even bigger like this stork. And just as I thought birds were everywhere, I took a closer look and discovered these animals swarming around the boats were bats. We sure stirred up a lot of bugs for them. And after three and a half hours on the river, it was time to go in for the night. We learned that none of the boats that night saw any jaguars, but tomorrow is another day. And to start the day off right, you must stretch. And look cool. It was just after 6 in the morning we were back on the boat. The first animal to greet us is a primate, a holler monkey. My personal favorite New World primate. It was a little difficult trying to find this guy up in the thick brush. Hollers have a very loud call. I love their little sad expressions. This black one is a male, and the blonder one here is a female. We heard some loud splashing, and it turned out to be some giant otters. Giant otters can be three to four and a half feet long, and weigh between 50 and 70 pounds. That's a lot of otter. But as big as they were, it was hard trying to keep them in focus as we were far away as not to disturb them. Their thick brown fur acts as an excellent water repellent. Well, we left these smart little creatures and rode up on some larger, simple-minded animals, the caiman. These waters are home to the largest caiman, the black caiman. Also joining in on the shore were some smaller spectacle caiman. Big or small, they all pack a powerful jaw full of razor sharp teeth. Teeth that made me for sure not want to fall out of this boat. It seemed every inch of these waters had caiman in it. As cool as these reptiles were, I really wanted to see some felines. Where are the jags? Well, this is sort of feline-ish. This is a tiger heron and staying safe above it was a green iguana. It was interesting to see one so high up in the trees. And also in the trees this morning were plenty of birds. Some large enough that maybe that iguana should lay low a little. Well, we were pulling up on home sweet home. Another long ride that we saw some amazing animals, but no jags. Where are they hiding? Hope you enjoyed this edition of Sapphire Brazil. For more information, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you got it.